Hey, good evening, and uh, welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. It's Tuesday, February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. And in light of Valentine's Day, I'm going to do a series of videos on marriage. Why Marriage Matters. That's what I'm titling the series, Why Marriage Matters. Because in our culture, in the United States, and many places in the world, but primarily in this country, we have moved away from the foundation of marriage for our communities. For people over 15, over 50% of those folks are not married. Now, this is not anything against single people at all. I'm single right now. That's not the problem. The problem is marriage has to be the building block of communities in the way that God designed them. In creation, in Genesis, God created people, men and women, to live together, to work together, to have children, to be the foundation of society. I'm going to have several videos on this, so we'll have more detail, but today I just want to lay out the bare bones of what I want to accomplish. As I said, God designed humans to live in communities with marriage as the foundation. doesn't mean we anything wrong with single folks, but the foundation has to be married families. This means the stability and the foundation of human communities is marriage. Right now, that's not the case in our country, in the United States. We're moving away from that. Marriage is, if it works out, that's nice, but it's not seen as essential. But when we raise people to be single, to not live in marriage, we lose the vision that God has for us and what is necessary for stability. God designed marriage to uniquely provide for intimacy and pleasure, the environment for children to be nurtured and discipled so that they can follow God, and an expression of unity in the one flesh relationship that can't be found anywhere else. Those three things, there, there are more, but these three core things are what marriage provides. Intimacy and pleasure in a way that cannot be duplicated any other way. Now, what we have done in our culture, in American culture, says you could have intimacy and pleasure without marriage. As a matter of fact, many people believe that intimacy and pleasure are restricted by marriage. Just the opposite of what God designed. Again, we'll talk more in detail. That's where we are. You look around us. That's where we are. The environment for children to be nurtured and discipled. Children are to be raised. God designed children to be raised in an environment where they're going to be cared for and taught to love and honor Him. To believe that now, as a universal, our folks in our justice system, in our legal uh, legislative system, say that's unconstitutional. We can't have that view as a requirement. You want to have a little niche, maybe, but not as something that's required, but we need that. And then there's this specialness of the one flesh relationship. It doesn't mean that there cannot be significant relationships outside of marriage. There are. But there's a foundation aspect that the one flesh is designed to bring about and be a cornerstone, a building block. This marriage foundation in our communities is designed, is meant for the entire community, including folks that are unmarried, who are single for whatever reason, whether they've never been married, whether they've been a loss of marriage, marriage partner, whatever reason. This community supported by marriage is designed to support people who are older. It's designed to care for people who have special care. 
we're attempting to do that without marriage, but we're not do what we're doing is we're having retirement homes. We're having situations where we're not relying on marriage, we're relying on some artificial construct to get that done. The emphasis that in some cases the preference for singleness undermines the foundation for us living together in a community as God designed it. We are not designed by God to live in community as single people, or where the single people are, are primarily the main demographic. God designed us to live in community as marriage. So when we're thinking about Valentine's Day tomorrow, we're separating love and marriage. We talk about love in a way that has nothing to do with marriage. We talk about being in a relationship, but relationship carries no responsibility with it, except what the two people care about. But there's something foundational, unique to the marriage relationship that doesn't look down on other people, but builds other people up. That's the way God designed it. And we've lost sight of that as a culture. And I'll be talking about that in you know, a couple more videos, but again, I'd love your thoughts and your feedback. It's really important. Uh, I'm not gonna be, we won't do a video tomorrow. I'm getting a, a brief uh, medical procedure done, nothing, nothing major, but uh, you know, I won't be able to do a video tomorrow. But Lord willing, we'll be back on uh, Thursday, February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. Again, love your thoughts and feedback about this. If there's any confusion, give me a chance to clear it up. Again, thanks so much for the privilege of uh, being here with you. And uh, Lord willing, you have a great evening. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you as you seek to live for His glory.